In this video, we're going to look at how to do bond calculations on your Sharp EL738 XT Financial Calculator. So variables used in the bond calculations are these ones here. So that's your coupon, your redemption value, the month, the settlement date where you originally purchased your bond, your redemption date, the number of coupons per year, the yield to maturity, your price, um, or present value of your bond, and your um, accrued interest on the bond. So the first thing that we need to do before we uh, dive into the bonds is to actually update our date format. Uh, the calculator has a US setting by default, um, and in South Africa, we use the European setting. So to change that, we're just going to press setup number three and then number one to choose Europe. Uh, and that will give us the day, month, and year. Uh, let's do that now quickly on the calculator. Right, so to change the date setting, we're going to press setup, then choose number three for date. And of course, our date version is the EU version or the European version. So we'll just press one. Right, once we've set up our day setting um, or our month view, uh, we can set the day count method. So what that means is changing between the actual calendar, which is 300 and 65 days uh, and then leap years or a 360 day calendar which essentially is just 12 months times 30 days each so to change that we just press second function comp and you'll see above it it says 360 actual um, by default it's set to the actual calendar um, and your date range is the 1st of january 1901 to the 31st of december 2099 as always, before you begin, remember to press second function and mode to clear everything that is on your calculator. Right, so here's our example. A um, thousand rand, five year, 8% coupon bond is issued to mature on the 24th of September. It was sold on the 3rd of November, 2023, and it yields the purchaser 10% compounded semi-annual uh, semi-annually until maturity. At what price does the bond sell and also calculate the accrued coupon interest? So the first thing that we need to do is type in all of our data. So press on and then select your bond button. Uh, and then make sure that your actual calendar is set and not the 360. So if it was the 360 calendar, you would see a little 360 at the top of your screen here where tab and degrees are displayed. Next, we need to enter our coupon rate, which is at 8%. So you press 8 and enter, press your down button, then enter your redemption value, which is 1,000 Rand, and press enter, and then press down. Then enter your settlement date. Remember, we changed it to the European setting, so it's going to be the 3rd of the 11th month, 2023. And then, of course, your redemption date, which is the 24th of September, 2026. Enter the number of coupon payments per year, and that's 2 and press enter and then enter your yield amount which is 10 percent. so type in 10 and then we calculate our bond price by just pressing comp and that will show us the bond price that we would need to pay as well as the accrued interest on the bond all right so let's do that now quickly on the calculator together right so we're going to press on and then bond which is over here uh, the first thing we're going to do is type in our coupon rate, which is 8, and press enter. Then we're going to type uh, press down to get to the next um, variable in our calculation. This is the redemption value, so we're going to type in 1,000 Rand and press enter. Then press down, and the next thing is our data. So it's the 3rd of the 11th, uh, so you do need to put in a 0, 3, otherwise the calculator is going to assume it's 31. Um, so just a heads up on that in 2023 and enter and then your final date is the uh, press down is the 24th 09 2026 oopsie oopsie press delete there 26 and enter press down and you have two coupon payments per year uh, and then press down again, and your annual year uh, interest rate per year is 10, so press enter, and then press 
down. And now we need to calculate our price and we do that by pressing comp. And it gives us a price of 773 Rand and our accrued interest is 0.88%. Right, now we can also calculate the bond price, including the accrued interest. So to do that, we're going to press on, press alpha and our present value button, press plus, and then alpha and equals, which gives us the answer, and equals, and that will give us our final bond price. So let's do that together now on the calculator. Right, so we're going to press on, uh, and then we're going to press alpha and present value uh, and that will pull that present value from our bond calculation and then plus and alpha equals gives us the last answer that was saved into the calculator that's your interest accrued and equals so we get a total amount of 774 rand and 78 cents the asking price on the bond is 650 Rand. So what will your yield be? So we're going to change the bond price to 650 Rand. So to do that, we press bond, press our down arrow button until we reach the point where it says price. And then we overwrite that by just typing over it 650, press enter. And then if you go back up and press comp, you will see your yield now is 1651. All right, let's do that now on the calculator together. So from here, uh, we're going to press on and then press bond. And we're just going to scroll down until we reach the point that says price. And we're going to change that to a value of 650 Rand. Press enter and then go back up to where it says yield and press comp. And now we'll see that our, year, our interest rate per year is actually 16.51 thanks so much for joining us in this video our next video will cover depreciation calculations if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and share it with all your friends cheers for now